Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. Well, as you can see, today we're doing another book review and I love books that are on the topic of um, things you can forage, right? So free, free edibles, if you will. And uh, yeah, this is a great addition to my library. Uh, Food for Free is in its 50th anniversary. Uh, so this book has been around for 50, five, zero, 50 years. It's been written by Richard Maybe, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a classic, I would say. So what is it all about? Well, if you uh, manage to get out of a supermarket nowadays with any amount of food uh, that hasn't cost you an arm and a leg, you're doing great, right? So we all know that prices are going through the roof. It's ridiculous. And in addition, when you buy food in the supermarket, you're never sure what you're getting because it can be modif modified, altered, uh, all sorts of additives, and uh, it's just usually not that healthy, right? So I have this kind of rule of thumb that when I go to a supermarket, if I see items that weren't there when my grandmother was 20 years old, then I probably am not going to buy it, right? I just want to keep it natural and healthy. Now, that's what this book is about. It is how to find food in the wild. And I love that kind of thing, okay? All right, so um, this book is obviously in English. It's about 300 pages, and it uh, is mainly focused on Great Britain. But that said, almost everything I find in this book, I can find in my region as well. Now, I know that a lot of these can be found in the US, I personally don't live in the US, I live in Europe, not in the Great Britain by the way, but almost every item in here I can find in my local area as well. Um, so what does it contain? It contains a description of whatever you find in the wild and it has the Latin name as well. So let's say there's a, um, a thing here called Shepherd's Purse. I'm pretty sure in the US it will be called different, but the cool thing is here's the Latin name, right? So you look up the Latin name and then you can trace back to what it's called in the US, okay? It has a, a very good description of what it is. In many cases there are recipes as well, like for example here, mucky mouth of pudding. That sounds kind of gross actually, but there you go. It has a description, for example, 100 grams of flour, but it also has in brackets four ounces, so you know that you can figure out what that is without having to look for all the conversions, right? As far as imaging is concerned, not a lot going on. There's a section in the middle here where you have all of these photos or, or illustrations, I should say. Uh, that said, whenever you are getting uh, food out of nature, uh, pickables, um, edibles, that kind of thing, uh, always make 100% sure that you are uh, identifying things correctly, especially when you are picking mushrooms, right? Now, I use an app for that personally, and um, yeah, I'll put a link below. Uh, it's called PlantNet. It's amazing. You basically take a photo with your cell phone and it will uh, tell you what it is, right? Uh, and then again, I have a pocket book and books like this and that kind of thing. Right. So uh, that is basically what this book is. Um, yeah, there's not a lot more I can tell you about it. Uh, this is a hardcover, but this is the 50th edition. So maybe that's the reason why. Uh, I really enjoy the book, although it has kind of a look and feel of a book that's a bit dated. Uh, Content-wise, though, it isn't. So if you are a chef, if you enjoy cooking, or if you just want to uh, eat healthy, or save a few bucks, this might be a book for you, right? So that's all I wanted to share on it. Uh, I'll put a link below so you can get a book for yourself. And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Hit that bell, hit that other thing, and bye.